Uh, today we have an opportunity uh, to have an open and frank discussion on the issue of workers' rights and fairness. These are issues that not only affect Rutgers faculty, uh, but workers all over New Jersey and our country. I'm happy to see that uh, Governor Corzine expressed his opinions, and President McCormick and the union have taken and created an environment here at Rutgers where employees can openly express their opinions on unionization. Rutgers signed a neutrality agreement with the AFT, and I uh, appreciate that move. I will also be watching to ensure that the agreement uh, is lived up to uh, by all sides. I'm very proud. I'm very proud that New Jersey has taken the lead once again in upholding the freedom to form unions and bargain collectively for our state's hardworking employees. Last year, New Jersey passed landmark legislation that would allow workers in this state to make their own, make their own decisions about unions through majority sign-up. Uh, and when we see those states that have among the highest levels of organized workers, we see uh, higher incomes uh, and wages. We see uh, tremendous uh, success uh, in education in a whole host of barometers in some of the most organized states in the nation. We see that the quality of life for all of the residents of that state, not just those who are organized, but all of the residents of that state improve. I don't think one can underestimate the power of many coming together as one instead of one standing alone. Some of the greatest movements in our country and in the world have, may have started by the thoughts of an individual, but it is only when that individual was able to rise and bring others in common cause to achieve great things that some of the most important chapters in our history as a country, some of the most important chapters of the world were written. And so as Rutgers seeks to make its own determination, uh, it seems to me that the power of many coming together as one is far more powerful than one standing alone. I hope that the powers to be understand that when you get a United States Senator, two members of Congress, two members of the legislature, uh, professors, students, uh, and a man of the cloth. Uh, that's a powerful combination. This panel today sends a very clear message to your co-workers. They have to make their own decision, and I'm not here to sway them as to what the decision would be. Although if I was a member of the Rutgers faculty or staff, I'd be signing a card check. I want the union organizing on my behalf and being part of a collective group in which the power of all of those individuals coming together is far more powerful than me standing alone. But having said that, the one thing I hope today's forum creates for all of your fellow workers is the understanding that there is no reason in their decision-making process, no tengas temor, do not be afraid. You have friends and those friends are going to ensure that the environment is such that you can make your decision uh, free from uh, any fear, fear from any retribution, fear uh, from any pressure. And in that context, uh, your decisions will be ultimately observed and it will be honored. Uh, and we look forward to what that decision will be. Uh, I hope today's forum uh, sends a very clear message that that is our expectation. And I want to salute those who have my colleagues who have been willing to join us here today. But above all, I want to salute the, the Rutgers staff uh, and students uh, who is willing to stand up uh, in the personification of what a university should be. If there's any group of individuals in my mind who should be partaking of the right or have the right untarnished, unlimited, to pursue the ability to join a union would be those men and women who every day are entrusted to unlock the potential of New Jerseyans uh, in terms of the fulfillment of their God-given abilities. Uh, that is what the faculty and staff at Rutgers do every day. Do they deserve any less 
than what anyone else in any other profession would have. Absolutely not. And that's what we're here to say today. Thank you very much. And Charlie, I'll